Namaste. Namaste. And welcome to you on this fine day. I'm so thankful that you've chosen to step on your mat and into the world of peace and calm that your practice offers you. Please remember that I'm not there to actually watch over you, but I am confident that you can stay in the mode of observer and play, pay very close attention to how you're feeling. And if you need to at any time, please modify or pause, stay in your breath and join us again when you're ready. Alrighty, so let's come into a comfortable seated position of your choice. Perhaps today that's on a chair or you can sit on the floor. I'm sitting on a blanket to help uh, ease my hips. You can do that too, or sit on a bolster. And then rock a little bit, reach underneath your hips and move the flesh away from the two little bones at the bottom of your uh, skeleton. They're sit bones, you wanna bring them into the earth and then let your spine grow long and tall up toward the sky. Chin pull slightly back as together we close our eyes. And now let all your breath go. Take a very deep inhale through your nose. Exhaling with ha. Again, deep breath. Exhale. Ha. Chin comes down toward your chest. Take your hands onto your mat and just pause here now as you allow the head to sink down, creating a lovely stretch through your neck, through your spine. And then as you pay close attention to how you feel, if you want, you can take your hands a little more forward, bring your elbows down, just sink deeply into the earth. As together we calm down, slow down, letting everything outside of these walls begin to disappear. Choosing to bring your full attention just here now onto your mat, into your body, into the moment, and into your breath as together we inhale, pushing the earth away, walking your hands into your lap as you roll the spine up one bone at a time. Eyes remain gently closed, drop your tailbone, lift the crown, relax your breath, and now take your conscious attention into the breath itself. Watch the breath as it flows with ease in and out through your nose. Feel the breath as it expands the upper chest, the ribs, the belly. As you exhale, belly draws in pressing the breath from the diaphragm up and out through the chest, the neck, the throat, the nose. And you continue this beautiful, gentle process of breathing consciously in and out through your nose. And the breath begins to feel hypnotic in nature as it soothes you, calms you, opens you, and brings you into a state of presence right here, right now. Oh. You're aware of a lovely calm energy flowing around you, through you, into you.
And this beautiful energy softens your forehead as you feel your eyes relax along with your cheekbones, jawbones, and nose. You relax your mouth, your chin, your neck and throat. You feel your spine become quite supple from the top all the way down to the very bottom. Your shoulders, collarbone, armpits, shoulder blades are all so soft. A lovely, soft feeling flows down through your arms, drenching your hands, fingers, and thumbs. So you feel your belly release along with the pelvis, your hips, relaxing your thighs, knees, shins, calves, ankles, your feet, and every toe. Ah, calming down, slowing down. You feel so grateful to be here on this beautiful day just to practice open and receptive to whatever comes your way. Remembering the importance of anchoring your practice on the breath and allowing your breath to flow you up and into your edge, but never to pain as together we draw our hands into prayer pose Thumbs touch the heart, fingers extend toward one another as we lift our lids and greet with namaste, namaste. And welcome to you on this beautiful day. So let's begin. If you are sitting up on a blanket or a bolster, you can remain there if it feels comfortable to you or you can certainly sit directly on your mat. I'm just gonna move my back a little bit here. And then go ahead and take your legs forward, move them apart a little wider than your hips and start to point and flex your feet. And now take your baby toes sideways, bring the toes toward your mat bringing them around to touch, take them up to the sky and take them to the side. Keep your legs relaxed. You can feel the legs moving all the way up in the hip sockets. But we're giving the instruction of movement only to the feet and your toes, of course. Pause wherever you are and let's reverse. Good. Shake your feet. Now bounce your knees together. Bounce them opposite. And pull your legs underneath you so you're up on the sits bones. Hands come up, make fists, and take the hands up and down. Just waking up the body with grace, with ease. Go side to side. Make some circles. And reverse. Good. Now put your palms forward. Fingers are up. You're just going to crimp the fingers. Now curl the fingers in. Take them into the palms then stretch them down and reach them toward your wrist. Lift the hands up, crimp the top. Next, palm, point down, move them toward your wrist. 
Let's do it again. Up, crimp, more, more, drop, stretch, pull in. Good, shake your hands. Bring your hands back up again and move the index finger toward each other. Now bring the middle finger toward the index finger. Ring finger in, baby finger. Reverse, baby finger out, index out, middle finger out, pointer out, wiggle your thumbs, and bring your hands down. Good, drop your chin down, tuck it into your chest. Take a breath and lift your eyebrows, your eyes, your nose, soften the back of your neck as you lift your chin way up. Let your breath go as your chin comes down, tucking in, looking toward the navel. Inhale, eyes up, nose lifts, lift your chin, looking up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, coming down. Breathe your head to the left, drop it back. Take it to the right and let the chin drop forward again. Breath is out. Inhale, head right, back, easy circles, left, exhale forward. Inhale, center, exhale, left ear, left shoulder, eyes open wide, look up. Inhale, center, exhale, right ear, right shoulder, eyes open wide, look up. Inhale, center, eyes up, down, up, down, up, down, center. Eyes left, now right, left, right, left, right, center. Upper left, lower right, upper left, lower right, upper left, lower right, center. Upper right, lower left, upper right, lower left, upper right, lower left, center. Turn your whole face to the left. Now to the right. Left, right, center, deep breath, lift up, up, up with your shoulders. Exhale, let them fall down, shrugging them with ha. Huh. Inhale, lift, tension up, 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 higher, more, more, more. Exhale, drop down, ha. Huh. Take both shoulders forward, now up, back, and down, bring them forward, lift them up, go back and down, reverse, go back, now up, forward and down and back, up, forward and down, one shoulder up, now the other, come down and down, one shoulder forward, then the other, go back and back, up, up, down, down, front, front, back, 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 back. Great. Put your hands under your knees now and just bring the feet flat. Hands between your feet, flex your feet, grab your big toes, Elbows down, pull on your toes as you aim the crown of your head toward the earth, breathing in and out. Inhale, pull, 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 pull. Exhale, bring your feet down and draw your left heel into the base of your body. Now bring the right. So you have heel, Heel, navel, heart center, third eye, crown of the head, all in a line. Hands in front of your heart, lift the elbows up, drop your shoulders down and relax your breath. Please breathe the hands up into the sky. Turn the palms forward and lift up a little higher. Wiggle your fingers. Exhale, bring your hands down walk them forward come as far forward as you can and lift your sit bones up a little bit 
Take the elbows sideways, fold your hands and put your head down on your hands. Dropping the weight down between your hands and your hips. Now you've actually lifted the sit bones up off of the earth. As together we breathe in and out. Gentle stretch, breathing in and out. Breathe in and lift your head up and turn your elbows under your shoulders. Relax your breath. See if you can bring your sit bones down as you lift up onto your fingertips and walk your hands now over to the right. Flatten your hands and start to melt over the right leg, bringing your head down. Now this can look very different in your body than in mine. So if your body, for instance, can only come down this far, that's excellent. Just let the body relax as much as possible as you melt into this posture, releasing stress and tension through the whole torso, including your shoulders, your neck, and your face. Now, as easily as you've moved into this posture, you're gonna shift your weight onto the right hand, straighten the arm, and push down through the left sit bone. Bring your left hand to your heart, and inhale the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, turn your face to look up at your thumb. Breathe in, lift a little higher. Exhale, bring your left hand down, reach your right arm over and bow to the right. Notice that the right knee and sit bones are lifting up. We just wanna get movement here. Breathe back to center. Turn your left palm up, look at it. Exhale, lift the arm up and over, drop your elbow, leaning toward your hand, all the breath is out. Inhale, lift back to center, extend the arms out. Exhale, bring your hands down, bring your right foot forward and take your right hand under the calf left hand under your heel and just lift the leg up and down a little bit. Now maybe you can only lift a tiny bit. This is fine. Just go to your edge, not my edge. Our bodies are completely different. Now move a little side to side, but the general position and direction the body goes in is what we're going for. Now float the foot on top of your left leg. Take the hands up and over and see if you can encourage the heel in close to the root of your body. And then just press down through the right leg. Lift your heart and turn your face away from the knee as we breathe in and out. Breathing in, exhale, we're gonna turn forward now. And this is a big stretch for the groin, for the hips. And we're gonna invite the hands forward and then bring the body down, but only go as far as you can. This might be plenty for you just like this. That's great. If you're super duper flexible, you can come all the way down and stretch your arms forward, sinking into the floor. This stretch is for your hip. Everything else should be completely relaxed. If anything starts to grab your attention, then you're going too far. You don't want to do that. So please be patient, be loving, be kind to you. And now tucking your chin in, breathe in and roll up bone by bone and take a hold of your foot we're just going to extend it out to the side, stretching the leg, flexing the foot, place your hand on your leg, wherever it is 
reachable and comfortable for you. Put your left hand behind your waist. Make sure that the right toe is facing up as is your knee and you're pressing the back of your knee down toward your mat, pressing your heel away from the body and inviting the toes toward your shin. Now start to turn your body forward Reach your left hand around toward the inside of your thigh. You can barely see my fingers coming around. The reason we're doing that is because we want to open up the chest and shoulders and ribs to the left. So this already is a magnificent stretch. As we just turn the face, look over your shoulder as together we breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale, release your arm out, lift it up to the side, turn your palm, breathe the arm up, look over at your right foot, exhale and stretch your hand toward your ankle, but don't reach toward your foot because you see then my body is going down this way, and we're working on a lateral stretch. So instead, as the hand reaches to the ankle, the body reaches over to the right. So we're keeping this open feeling as we were here. All we're doing now is moving the arm over. Breathing in, keep pressing down through the right knee. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise up, stretch the arms way away from each other. You can wiggle your fingers and bring your hands down. Put them behind you and stretch your left leg out. Bend your right leg and you're going to bring the heel into the base of the body. Good. And now we're going to bring the left leg in, lining up. Heel, heel, navel, heart center, third eye, crown of the head, hands in prayer pose, elbows lift, push the hands firmly together and exhale. Breathing in, hands lift into the sky, rotate your palms, lifting up, wiggle the fingers. Exhale, hands come down. Start to carefully walk the hands forward. Lift your sit bones up, turn the elbows sideways, stacking your hands, put your head on your hands. As together we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out and start to bring your sit bones down. Walk your hands back to support your body. And then walk your hands over to the left and start the process of sinking over the leg, coming down as low as you can. And notice the difference between the two sides of your body. They are not the same. So we don't judge, we just notice. So interesting. Now press your left hand in the floor and rise up a little bit, bringing your right hand to your heart. Relax your breath. Breathe the right arm straight up to the sky. Exhale and turn your head to look up at your hand. Breathe in, lift higher, wiggle your fingers, stretching. Exhale, lift up, right hand down, left arm reaches over. Inhale, center, turn your right palm. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift up, turn your palm. Exhale, bowing to the right. 
Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take your left hand under your calf, right hand under the heel, and just start to lift your leg up and down a little bit. And take your time as you go. Because you don't want to strain your body, but at the same time, you want to just wake up the hip. Move the leg a little bit side to side. Paying close attention to how this feels and relaxing into it. Don't fight against it. Then bring your foot up onto your thigh and you can stop right here. This might be plenty. In fact, you may stop with your foot down on the floor. That's beautiful. If you're up here and you think you can go a little deeper, you bring the heel in close then push the left leg down, lean away from the leg and look away. As we breathe in and out. Breathing in, exhale, come forward and we're going to stretch forward now, bringing your hands down, dropping your head down and you can walk your hands forward if that feels good, taking your time and just melting toward the earth. Now remember, for you, it might look more like this, or it could look like this. So just be patient with yourself and allow your body to open where you are. Take a breath and roll up bone by bone. Rising up, lifting up. Take your right hand to the right, relax your breath and put your left leg on the floor, straightening it out to the side, pressing down through the back of your leg, left hand on your leg, heel pushing away, toes coming back, turn your body forward and now take your right hand and place it behind your waist, reaching the right hand around the back toward the inside of your thigh. That's the goal. And we're doing that to open up the ribs, the chest, the shoulders, as we look to the right, turning the heart center to the right, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Inhale, right hand comes down, out, turn the palm up. Exhale, lift up and over and bow straight to the left. Remember, don't drop over toward the leg. We're staying lateral, stretch through your arm, stretch the left leg toward your foot Open your chest, look up if you can, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, rise up, stretching. Exhale, relax your foot, hands behind you, stretch your right leg out to the side, Lift your hips up and make sure that you're on the sit bones, that the low back hasn't curled under at all. With the feet flexed and the legs straight, walk your hands forward. Keep your elbows straight and lift your chest and lift your head. Now again, this can look different for all of us. You may be all the way up here by keeping your legs straight. We don't want to bend the knees and get more movement. We want to keep pressing the heels away and then walking forward. If you're very flexible, you may be able to lay all the way down on the floor. I can't even demonstrate that to you. I could have 20 years ago, but those days are gone. And that's an okay thing. No complaints. We're happy to be where we are as we breathe through, stretching the legs 
And on your next exhale, walk the hands in, lift your heart, looking up at the sky. Point your feet, take your hands under your knees and bring the legs across, ankles cross, pull your heels under and roll up, coming off your blanket or bolster and push them off to the side if you don't mind. And now we're going to continue our work on our hips, which are so vital to us by coming on to your hands and knees. Now, if you do have your blanket or a heavy towel handy, keep it off to the side, not far away, because we're going to use it again here pretty quick. And what I'd like you to do is make sure you're in a nice squared off position. Drop your head down and lift your spine up. Relax your breath out. Inhale and drop the belly, heart forward. Lift your head looking up at the sky. Exhale, head down, lifting up into moon, stretching the spine. Breathing up, looking up and stretch. Come into neutral now and stretch your left leg back straightening it, you're on the ball of the foot, swing the leg over to the right and then bend your knee. Move your right foot sideways and walk your hands back and you're going to sit down with the knees on top of each other. Now this is when we use our blanket. If you're finding that this is too much, just take your blanket and you put it underneath your hip like so, and it can make it much more comfortable. And remember, we don't want to strain. We want to give the body the proper alignment so that it can melt and open for you without any danger of overdoing it. So now once we're in this position, just take your hands forward and drop your belly, solar plexus, heart center, and head down. If you find at any point that something hurts, just come back up. Go to your edge. That's what the edge is. It's that place where you feel fire in the posture, but not pain. Once you have pain, you've gone over the edge and you have to back out. Now, if you are patient and breathe in the posture, you may find that you go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, and just let that happen. No forcing. As together we breathe in and out. Tuck your chin in. Breathe in and roll up, bringing your hands in front of your heart and relax your breath. Now breathe your hands forward, lift your shoulders up and take your arms up and out to the side as you shake, shrink your shoulders down. Turn your palms and you're going to reach your left hand behind your back, pulling it over toward your foot the best you can. And then you're going to bend the elbow I'm going to turn around here so you can see better. So you bend the elbow up, bringing the hand up toward the hairline. Right hand comes to the shoulder. Relax your breath. Breathe the right shoulder up. Lift the right arm up. Pull the hand back. As you exhale, bring the shoulder down and reach your hand back toward the other hand, clasping them together. Now yours may look more like this. When we get to the other side, you'll see I'm very tight on that side. It just happens that on this side, I can connect. You can hold your shirt here if that works for you. Keep the elbow up toward the sky and take a deep breath. As you exhale now, you bow forward bringing your body down over your knees. Relax 
relaxing into the posture as much as you can. Bowing down, breathing in and out, cow pose. Breathing in and out. Inhale, rise back up, raise your arm up, take the arms out to the side, stretch them, bring your hands forward, you're on your fingertips. Take your left hand back on the other side of your foot, push down, and now you're going to rock forward onto your hands and knees, close your feet together, extend the left leg back and bring it underneath you. So your hands are under your shoulders, knees under your hips, start to move your hips side to side. Notice how the body is opening and changing might be subtle, but it is happening. Make some nice big circles on the support of your hands and knees. Oh. And now let's go the other way. Good. Now I'm just going to move my blanket off to the side and keep it at the ready just in case. And we're going to bring the knees to touch and then extend your right foot back. And I'm gonna turn around. This might help you. Pardon my rear end here. Straighten your right leg back and swing it over to your left. Bend the knee and move the foot out and then walk your hands back so you can bring your hips down to the floor. That's when you grab your blanket or towel and you can bring it and put it underneath your hips so you are solid. Hands in prayer pose. Breathe the hands forward. Lift the shoulders up. Lift the arms up. Take the arms out and relax your breath. Turn the palms and you're going to reach your right arm behind your back, pull it over toward your foot. Then bend the elbow, bringing the fingers up toward the hairline. Now you'll see this is my very tight side, so I can't go too far. And that's okay. It still is wonderful for me to do. You bring your left hand to your shoulder, breathe in and raise the left shoulder up the arm up, stretch up, pull the arm back. Then you sink your shoulder down and bend your arm, reaching for the other hand. You want your left elbow to go straight up toward the sky. Remember, you can hold your shirt here if that feels better to you. Inhale, exhale, and bow forward now over your legs, relaxing toward the earth, Taking your time. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, let your left elbow lift you up. Exhale, take the arms out, stretching. Bring your hands down. Plug your fingers into the earth. Left hand is in front of your right foot. Right hand is behind your left foot. So you can use them to leverage the body up. I'm gonna move my blanket. Hands under your shoulders, squeeze the feet toward each other. Straighten the right leg back. Plant your knees underneath your hips. Hands under your shoulders and rock your hips side to side. And notice the change. Now make some circles. Oh. Go the other way. Oh. Stay at center now and breathe your right arm out to the side. Exhale, swing it over to the left, palm up. Come down onto the shoulder, the side of your face. 
and extend your left arm straight ahead as together we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Pull your left hand back and push it down as we breathe up onto both hands and knees and relax your breath. Inhale, left arm out. Swing it over to the right. Exhale, come down onto the shoulder, the side of your face and move your arm forward. Now, if it bothers you to move your arm forward, you can just keep it where it is. You can put it behind your back if that feels better. Remember, this is your practice. You can experiment. Just be kind to yourself and don't put yourself at risk as we breathe in and out. Draw your hand back, push down, inhale and lift back up onto your hands and knees. Relax your breath as you bring your knees forward and we're gonna get ready to recline. So cross your ankles and sit back onto your hips with your knees bent and then bring your hands back, drop your elbows down, stretch your spine into the earth and stretch your legs forward. Turn your palms up and relax. Oh, just notice how you feel. Bend your knees and put your feet at, on the sides of your mat. Lift your hips up a little, bring them down and rock your hips so the low back flattens into the earth. Then squeeze your spine up and away from the hips. Lift your head up and pull it back. Put your hands on your belly and take a breath. Exhale, drop your knees to the left and turn your face to the right as we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Gaze skyward, breathe your feet flat, knees are straight up. Exhale, knees to the right, looking to the left, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Taking your gaze skyward, breathe your knees back to center. Draw your left knee in and then your right. Interlace your fingers and slide them onto your shins. Pull the knees in, elbows in tight. Lift your head up into your knees if that feels okay. Roll down now and rock from side to side. Oh. The knees are up nice and close to your chest as you just drop them over to the left. Put your left hand on the right thigh, right hand on the right ribs. Turn your body and head to the right. Close your eyes and inhale. Exhaling with ah. Again, deep, deep breath. And relax. Extend the arms sideways as you look up and breathe the right knee into your chest. Now the left. Keep the legs in close as you look to the right and bring your knees up and over to the right. Right hand on the left thigh. Look up and open your chest, ribs, and shoulders. Left hand on your rib cage. Drop your face to the left as we breathe in and out. Breathe.
breathing in and out and rest. Gently stretching the arms sideways, looking up. Breathe your left knee in here, chest, now the right. Grab your shin, squeeze in, elbows down, lift your head up if that feels okay. Come down and rock side to side. Oh, softening through the back of the body. Move one hand to each knee and make circles with your knees as you continue this lovely invitation to the back of the body to just relax. Go the other way and to receive this beautiful mini massage. Slowing down, calming down. And then stay at center and put your feet down with your hands on your belly. And before you move, ask yourself, how would you like to rest today in Shavasana? Do you want classic Shavasana with your legs down, palms up? Or maybe you need to lay on your side or your belly or put your legs up on the wall or a chair. Whatever feels the most appropriate to you, go ahead and make it so. And once you are comfortable, please close your eyes and let all your breath go. Taking a deep inhale through your nose, exhaling with ha. Ah. Again, deep, deep breath. And relax. Oh. Immediately you feel your body surrender into the earth. For you know you are safe. No harm will come to you in this space. The amount of tender loving care that you have just received is profound and you know that the energy produced by your practice is flowing freely through you now and that this moment of peace and calm is the time to let that energy saturate into every molecule of your body into your mind your emotions, your very soul. You're aware of this beautiful presence offering you healing, strength, balance, suppleness, vitality, grace, and you take it in. And as you do, you move into the most profound state of peace. Peace. Peace.
the softest whisper. You become conscious of your breath flowing freely through your beautiful, healthy body. Feeling calm, balanced, refreshed. You follow your breath as it ignites movement in your fingers, toes, hands and feet. Tenderly move your head from side to side. Taking a deep breath, you stretch your whole body, bending your knees, rolling to the side where you linger. Joining me when you're ready in a comfortable seated position, hands on your legs, palms skyward, index fingers to the thumbs, tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth, relax your scalp, forehead, jaw, neck, and throat. Release your shoulder blades, collarbone, armpits, and belly. Open your heart both front and back, and please let all your breath go. When you're empty, breathing only through your nose, please inhale for one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, rest, one, two, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, rest, one, two, three, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, Exhale, one, two, three, four, rest, one, two. Move into stillness. Love is light, the huge mysterious power that enlivens not only our spirits, but all of creation around us. The light that falls into our lives because we love and are loved is the light that will truly illumine us forever. It is the star we follow to stumble on magic, the moonlight of incredible passion, the sunlight of healing and growing of spiritual well-being. It is the light that enters our eyes when we behold the ones we adore, the light we create with our words, with the radiance of our spirits, with the whole beauty of our lives. Love is the light in which we live and breathe and dream. Love is the light that falls upon us now and forever by that amazing author, Anonymous. As yogis, we know that we are love, that we came from love, we returned to love, we were created from love because we are just love, 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 love. So as you move through this day, through the week, through the month, through the year, through the rest of your life, stay anchored in love. Stay clear about the fact that you are love. Let it guide you. Let it hold you. Let it just immerse you into the ocean of unconditional, constant presence that is you, that is me, that is all. And I know 
through this ongoing process, your life will be blessed. Hands in front of your heart, thumbs touch the heart, fingers extend away from the heart, and let us share three ohms, nice deep breath. Oh, oh, Shanti, 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 may peace be yours now and always. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please be well, be safe. Be kind, much love to you.